What is going on guys, The Muck Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new tutorial on how to make a GIF banner for YouTube. YouTube re recently announced that they have updated their YouTube um, site and have allowed a two, an under 2 megabyte YouTube GIF banner to be uploaded to the YouTube channel for anyone. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to have a YouTube banner that can move and has motion to it frame by frame. Not very many frames from around um, 25 to 30 is the max I would say. And these frames you can have them really fast or really slow it's up to you guys and um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this real quick it's gonna be really simple uh, I'm just gonna get the basis down you guys can add color you guys can add um, flares whatever you guys want I'm just gonna show you how to basically do a logo just um, take the logo off and put it back on it's gonna be really simple guys and um, Actually, in this video, I am doing a giveaway of um, a GIF banner custom made by me, a very clean one. Obviously, going to be better than this tutorial. Going to be worked hard on, and all you need to, all you guys need to do to enter is like and comment, and that is all. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, guys. Uh, as you guys can see, I have my template already open. Just a standard YouTube template, guys. You can find them everywhere. Uh, if you guys really, um, if you don't have one, you need one. This will be in the description for you guys to download freely. And um, yeah. So uh, by the way, the image in the background is from wallpapersy.com. I think wallpapers something. Just look up a look up wallpapers. I like these uh, black and white theme ones. They they're a lot smaller sized to upload, and you can do a lot more stuff with them, guys. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this. And my logo is on the screen right now just in a new layer just a random layer and I don't I don't really I want my logo to be kinda of blended in a little bit so what I'm gonna go ahead and do guys is just cut it up a little bit not too much not too much You're gonna make it kinda of, kinda of kinda of dirtyish by using some certain brushes and I'm going for a really nice clean style here guys not too not too wild or anything and I'm just gonna use certain brushes and just cut this up a little bit and it's up to you guys what you want to do you don't even have to do this that's a little much make that a little bit smaller So if you guys don't know already, I like to have my kind of kind of cleanish, grungyish style to my YouTube banners, and that looks that looks pretty good, pretty nice. I like that. All right. So once you've done that, you still have the your logo basically. Um, what you guys want to do is you want to cut it up into pieces. So basically, how you do this is you guys make sure you watch this carefully and uh, learn exactly how to do this because this is the tricky part. So I'm just going to go take this and move it down here and move it over here. So I'm going to be cutting up these logos like you guys will see. I'll show you guys. Um, so make sure this logo right here, don't cut up that first one. Press Alt and drag to make a new one. Unselect the original one and go ahead and delete this section. Now you make a new one. Alt, make a new one. Unselect that one and just keep cutting you guys will get the the rhythm of this eventually oh, whoops and just keep cutting it up if you guys haven't yet subscribed to me please feel free to drop a subscribe and like comment and favor the video if you guys would like some more tutorials like this hope this guy I hope this helps you out quite a bit I do do logo concepts and other tutorials like that and let's keep going almost there So as I said, guys, this has to be under two megabytes. So um, don't go like you guys can do quite a bit with two megabytes. That's that's quite a bit. 
But yeah. All right. So here we go. So what you have now is you should have the cut up pieces in each individual layer like this. And it should look like that. So what you guys want to do now, now this is the important part. You have to select the latest layer which is should be invisible since you cut it all completely. It should be completely invisible. And down here in your timeline, if I haven't showed you guys already how to get this timeline, go to window timeline it should be there if you don't guys don't have it then this tutorial is basically useless cuz you not update with your Photoshop the, I'll be using CS6 and CC or I think CS5 works actually so yeah so it should be timeline and once you get this timeline it should be the first layer make sure this is selected make sure only the first logo is selected the, which is should be nothing so now what you guys want to do is you want to make a new down here just say new uh, new timeline and you want to unselect this one and select this one. So basically, unselected, selected. So make a new one, unselect, select as you go down the list, and keep doing this, guys. Do it really quickly. As I said before, guys, you can add color. You can add highlights, whatever you guys want. It's up to you guys. I'm just going to keep it plain and simple and nice and clean. Okay, so as you guys see, I have 13. So you can actually play the animation. So that is what it's going to look like. And uh, yeah, so it's very simple, guys. I uh, highly suggest you guys make one of these. And yeah. So how do you save this guys is you go to file, save for web, in here make sure this is selected to GIF or GIF whatever you guys want to pronounce it like. Um, you can actually play it in here. And before I actually save it I want to show you guys something. Down here on the timeline where it says sec, like 0 0.5 seconds, click that and you can select how long you guys want your um, your section to be up there so you guys can make it a really long gif uh, I don't suggest it because people will get tired of that I mean but not too crazy like around 0.5 seconds or 0.2 is what I highly suggest alright so as I said before file oops whoops file save for web and in here go ahead and do gif and yeah, you guys just save this to your desktop and um, just go ahead and upload to YouTube. I hope you guys have fun with this. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, for more, more content like this, guys. And yeah, thank you very much, guys.